Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody. Uh, back on, uh, back on doing doing another Gems of War video here. Uh, I'm just kind of doing a demo of my latest build, or at least the one that I'm goofing around with right now. Um, and before I get further into this, and oops, and already I messed that up. So let me get this fixed. Damn thing changed on me. Alright, so the, I'm going to have some music playing in the background. This time around, it's going to be Warden, Rites of Passage, uh, Medieval Dark Ambient. Came out about five years ago. Um, I was, wasn't really, not really what I'm looking for, but most of the stuff that I was looking for was all copyrighted shit. So, I'm, presumably this stuff here is uh, it's free to use. So, just go on with that. Okay, but anyway, um, let me kind of explain what my new build does here. Okay, once again, you guys are probably very familiar with this. Oh, and um, this build here, the purpose of this, of this is to level my elementalist class. So, and the big, and the big one is uh, elemental force down here. It, it'll stun, freeze, burn, and entangle a random enemy on matching four or more gems. But um, the problem is, is I'll go ahead and go to the class itself. Um, it, it's still defensively, it's still pretty bad. I am, I'm trying to work my way to level 40, so I can get this uh, rock solid, which puts up a barrier whenever I match brownies. And then, um, and then probably this one here, if and whenever I get to level 70. So, cause I'll, I'll kind of explain further when getting into it. So, but anyway, uh, but this is, this one here is all too familiar to most, uh, the old reliable Martin, Mountain Crusher. And then we got the main damage dealer. You guys might be fairly, fairly familiar with this. Uh, just dealing 25 damage to everybody and creating a mix of uh, 14 green and brown gems. And you get an extra turn. Then I decided on Forest Troll. Mo mo I'll, I'll kind of explain why here in just a second. But, um, he doubles the number of green gems on the board and then adds three more on top of that. And then probably the biggest reason why I put this team together, I found this on the forums. Uh, the Mirage Queen. The big one here. All elemental allies start with 50% mana. Which, Forest Troll is an elemental, so he'll start with six. Oh, Gabi Pool here, same thing. He's, he'll start with nine, and due to the class I've chosen, elementalist, same thing. He'll start with half mana. And then this ability here is actually a pretty handy dandy little ability. Um, curse, if you can read over here, it gets rid of um, all positive um, all positive status effects. I don't I don't know if it um. I don't know if it works on Bless or not. Bless uh, cleanses all debuffs and prevents any other debuffs from being placed on them. I don't know if that includes Cursed or not. So, so I guess uh, I guess Cursed is the unstoppable force and Bless is the immovable object. So we'll see what happens. Um, but like I said, Cursed it um, resets and reduces the cumulative recovery chance of status effects. Um, let me find them. Most all status effects in this game. Oh, and I'm mostly addressing the people that are either either have never played this game or are fairly new to this game right now. So, a lot of these debuffs, there's a cumulative 10% chance to recover each turn. So, the first turn you get, the first time it's your turn, 
it starts at 10%. The second turn, 20%, then 30, etc., etc. So, and, um, but this is, uh, I believe, this is when, this is when it's your turn. Not when it's his turn, or not when, not when you get another, you get another shot. So it, it that's something I kind of need to clarify on that. So, you, know, you gain an extra turn, which basically just means you get to go again. But, it's, in ter uh, for, uh, for debuffs and stuff, it's not, it's, you're, as far as debuffs and stuff, excuse me, it technically it's until it's your next turn. Like your opponent has to have a turn, and then it's yours again. So that's how that works. But anyway, um. But anyway, back to Mirage Queen. It curses all enemies. So. So remember that little trait I mentioned: stun, freeze, burn, and tangle a random enemy. It's gonna curse everybody, and it's gonna. It's gonna reset. It's gonna reset the uh, cumulative chance, and it's gonna reduce that chance to five percent. So it's it's five percent cumulative per turn. And then another one. This one here is gonna take a little bit of planning on your part, but it converts all green gems to doom skulls. Doom skulls are the big new and improved skulls that uh explode, and they deal five points of damage. So, it's also pretty much the reason why I put Forest Troll in here. Because when you're doubling a number of green gems, there's going to be a fair amount of residual greens left over, which, uh, which, uh, Cursed Waves can take advantage of. So, but again, um, this is a fairly new build. Um, I recently just, I picked a Kingdom at random. I just picked Shentang just for the hell of it. Um, and I chose uh, difficulty six, and that's another thing too. Um, I, I actually did try running difficulty one content, in which the team you're, the team you're supposed to be using. I call it the peace shooter group. It's this one here. Um, I have it set to elementalist because in this game here, if you're running PVE content, like like if you're doing explore explore runs like I'm doing now. You're only going to get one experience point, no matter what difficulty it is. And then if you do any other kind of PvE content and PvP content, you get two experience. But a uh, problem with that is, is this build here isn't quite ready for that yet. So, but, um, I, but again, I tried running difficulty one. I just can't do it. It's too grindy. I'm pretty much burnt to a crisp from doing it so much. So, it's I have to be doing meaningful, for lack of a better word, content with it. So, so let me kind of do a demo of how this works. Yay! Actually, remember to bring my soundboard. Okay, not up. Do that. Yeah, I'm getting screwed already. Oh, it's like PvP all over again. And... Oh, my controller died. Hold on just a second. I'll wait for it to start up. So we still attack. So, the main damage dealer. And now he's going to double up, double the number of gems. And back to that again. And here's where the planning comes in. Remember, it converts all green gems to Doom Skulls, so ideally. You want to do this if you can. If you think you can get a, a four match, a four or five match of Doom Skulls, that's when it's safest. Otherwise, just gonna do that and rinse and repeat. Okay, 
he's still not to work with. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cast it. Boom! That should one shot damn near anything. Anything that's on the top. See, whenever I get a four or five match, a random enemy gets all gets a whole bunch of status effects put on him. And I can do there. Yes. So, pretty much got to start over. If you, whenever you hear that ting, that means he was going to get an extra turn, but him being frozen prevented that from happening. So. Enemies are cursed right now, so it's going to be an extremely long shot if they ever uh, dispel those debuffs on them. So, so let's um, so let's do one more. Uh, do one more of these, do a mini boss, and then I'll go ahead and try low tier PvP. Although I don't have much confidence in that. But like I said, here's a this is a drawback right here. I don't think I can show it here, but. And I won't get it until uh, level 70, but uh, you'll get uh, additional brown mana from uh, brown matches. So because of that, if I don't get if I don't get a mana surge, if I don't get a mana surge, that means I have to wait for another brownie to come along. I'm look, just looking right now. And let's go for a dramatic finish. Boom! And let's fight the boss. Oh, pop. Yeah, I shouldn't have to fight a mythic afterwards. Once again, no surge. So, there's gonna be a lot of growing pains with this build. It's like half the time. 
This ability is going to come up before his will. And as stated before, um, as stated before, like, um, I used to use a forest troll on another, on another build. Um, one big drawback to him is you need a fair amount of green gems on the board already in order for this to be useful. Otherwise, it could actually be dangerous because you're only going to be helping out the other team then if you have too few on there. finish. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and do a do a low level PvP. But again, I don't um, with the kind of group compositions in PvP, I don't really see it happening. Okay, Okay, I'm not even going to bother with that one. <laughs> Think I might be biting off more than I could chew with this one. But if it looks like if it looks like uh there I have not a prayer on this one cuz their build their their build is kind of like mine. They rely on infinite turns. Being able to do the same thing over and over, and yeah, it's not much hope with this one. Yeah, see, he's already blown the board. It's starting. Yes. Yeah, I see. So, and over my head. I might be able to do this one, though. one yeah gonna have to blow her and gonna have to blow it again Like I said, in PvP, you get 2 XP. Not the typical one, but again, you have to actually win these low in order to get it. So, so, um... And kind of mess this up. But, anyway, that's my build. Um, but, and I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Um, Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.